Interpreting Line Graphs. A line graph is a picture representation of information. It can show us how things change over time or how things are related to each other. They are great for helping us visualize trends and patterns and for helping us make predictions and draw conclusions. When reading and interpreting line graphs, you need to know some essential information and vocabulary words. On a line graph, the x-axis at the bottom is the independent variable. Now the independent variable is the one that the person is changing or it could be something that changes over time. The y-axis on the side is the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the one the person is measuring and observing. Direct relationship means that the variables change in the same direction. So if one increases, the other will also increase. Inverse means that the variables change in the opposite direction. So if one increases, the other will decrease. Linear means that the graph line is straight. It also represents proportional relationships. Nonlinear means that the graph line is not straight. It can take on shapes like curves, parabolas, and exponential functions. These words can be combined to explain the relationship between the variables better, like direct linear and inverse linear, or direct nonlinear and nonlinear inverse. Now that you know the essential information and vocabulary, reading and analyzing a line graph is simple if you follow these easy steps. Let's go ahead and look at this line graph. In step one, we're gonna read the title to determine what the graph is about and also identify the variables for the X axis and the Y axis. So the title here at the top says KE versus mass. At the bottom, the x-axis says mass. That's the independent variable. And on the side, the y-axis says ke. That's the dependent variable. So we have our titles. We know our independent variables, our dependent variables, what our x and y axes are. In step two, you want to focus on the x-axis, the independent variable. Choose a few given key data points, or you can choose your own, and then look for patterns on the x-axis. So we're going to first look then at mass. We have a few data points already chosen. So we look at the first one is at 100, the second is at 200, and the third is at 400. So the numbers are going up, which means that mass is increasing. In step three, you want to focus on the y-axis, the dependent variable. Again, choose a few key data points that are given or choose your own and then look for patterns on the y-axis. So now we're going to look at KE, the dependent variable. There are a few data points chosen. The first one is 125,000. The second one is 250,000. And the third one is 500,000. The numbers are going up, so the KE is increasing. In step four, you're gonna combine the information you discovered about the X-axis with the Y-axis and look for patterns. So as we can see here, the mass is increasing and the KE is increasing. We can also see that it's a straight line, so it's linear. And we can see that as mass increases, again, the KE also increases. So that means that mass and KE have a directly proportional linear relationship. So again, step one, you're gonna read the title, determine what the graph is about, and also identify the variables for the X axis and Y axis. In step two, you're gonna focus on the X axis, the independent variable. Choose a few key data points that are given or choose your own and then look for patterns on the X axis. In step three, you're gonna focus on the Y axis, the dependent variable. Again, choose a few key data points that are given or choose your own and then look for patterns on the Y axis. 
And in step four, you're going to combine the information you discovered about the X axis and the Y axis and look for patterns. So let's go ahead and do it again, but with this graph. Step one, we want to read the title to determine the, what the graph is about and also identify the variables for the X axis and the Y axis. So here are titles about login allowed. The X axis is the year. The Y axis is number of organisms. And notice there's a key on the side. They include that when there's more than one line to identify what the lines are and what they represent. In step two, we want to focus on the X axis, the independent variable. We're going to choose a few key data points or choose our own and look for patterns. In this case, it's year. So we can see that the year is just increasing. Now in step three, we're going to focus on the Y axis, the dependent variable. We're going to choose a few key data points that are given, or again, we can choose our own and look for patterns on the Y axis. However, we're going to look at each line individually. So if we look at the trees first, we can see the trees decrease steadily and then saw a large drop to zero between years 10 and year 15. Moving on to the mushroom, Again, using key data points here, we can see the mushrooms decreased steadily and then saw a large drop to 100 between year 10 and 20. Then the deer, looking at the key data points, the deer held steadily and then saw a large drop to zero between year 10 and year 20. And finally, the bear, looking at the number points, the bear held steadily and then saw a small drop to 10 between years 10 and year 20. In step four, we're going to combine the information you discovered about the X axis and the Y axis and look for patterns. So when the trees took a huge decrease from year 10 at 800 to year 15 at zero, all other organisms experience a large drop from year 10 to year 20 with deer going to zero, mushrooms going to 100 and bears going to 10. We can also see that the lines are nonlinear and the relationship between the years and the number of organisms is inverse, meaning that as the years increase, the number of organisms decreased. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.